Welcome to Why Junie Browning Could Have Been a Bigger Star Than Conor McGregor. During Season 8 of The Ultimate Fighter, we were introduced to the chaotic antics of Junie Allen Browning. Drunken belligerence, destruction, and violence were all exhibited on screen by the UFC hopeful, who was, at the time, still just in his early 20s. Despite all of the trouble he caused, which included throwing a glass at another contestant on two different occasions, punching someone, and trying to drown Ryan Bader in a pool, Junie clearly had a lot of athleticism, skill, and raw natural talent. Although not terrible on the ground, his true skills were with his striking, where we would see him use heavy-handed and brutal ground and pound. On the feet, Junie blasted away with vicious punches to the body of his opponents and struck with force that is easily comparable to that of Conor McGregor. For a 155-pound fighter, Junie clearly had knockout power. And let's not be naive. Conor was very good, but what made him so successful was his marketability, his trash talk, and his antics. I truly believe that if Junie had been supplied the resources to combat his addiction and mental health issues, that he could have been a bigger star than McGregor. Unfortunately, we never really got to see Junie's full potential. Like the world of pro wrestling, MMA is one part theater, and although I think he would have had a sizable fan base, many more people would have tuned in just to see the man they love to hate get his comeuppance. Many still would have tuned in just to see the show and potentially bear witness to the next crazy and unpredictable thing he might do. Thanks for tuning in, and let me know what you think in the comments section below.